Donald Trump asking the questions many people are wondering. Will the latest scandal force Hillary Clinton to dump her most trusted aide, Huma Abedin? Joining me now is Nina Burley, national politics correspondent at Newsweek. Nina, you have reported extensively on Huma Abedin and how long she has been with Hillary Clinton. Speak about the loyalty between these two women. Well, Huma arrived in the White House when the Monica Lewinsky scandal was erupting, and all of the women around the First Lady at that time were crouched defensively around her, and Huma was this young um, college girl, really, and she proved herself to be uh, extremely helpful. Uh, she would do... Um, you know, she carried the bags, she was the body woman, and she was completely reliable. Um, she's very conservative in her personal life, uh, wiener notwithstanding. Um, she didn't drink, she drinks, she doesn't, she doesn't go out at night, so she was somebody that Hillary could really rely on and trust, and she was her body woman, which means she carried her clothes and got her hair done and so on, and then she, she climbed the ladder within the system. Um, slowly becoming more and more a part of the uh, Clinton world system. Um, and by the time she, uh, Hillary Clinton was Secretary of State, whom Abedin was her filter. She was the one through whom all of the people who wanted to get to the Secretary of State had to go. She was the gatekeeper. So that's why you have emails from Huma that are important. But I do want to add something that I've been thinking about since I've been watching this your show this morning. We have spent more time in this election talking about emails than we have immigration, domestic policy, foreign policy, and climate change, not to mention reproductive rights. These issues have completely overshadowed the election. The word emails, I mean, you, you and I, are we not tired of saying the word emails? So my, my point is, we have come to a, a situation where, yes, Anthony Weiner has 650,000 emails somehow on his laptop. Some of them belong to Huma Abedin. It's like we're in this axis of penile. Yes, but it's Clinton, a trust, we have but before, Trump and we have Weiner and that's all we talk about is their sex lives. But many Americans would say before you give someone the power to be president of the United States where they would influence climate change, policy, education, immigration, you need to trust them. And Hillary Clinton around email has a trustworthiness issue. When you look at what's happened over the weekend, we haven't heard from Huma Abedin. Hillary Clinton herself. You won't hear from Huma Abedin. So she's a very, she's a woman of mystery. She avoids the, she avoids the limelight, and it's a very strange situation for somebody to be in who is avoiding the limelight. Like her boss, they're both people who don't like to be. They try to be private, and so that's how this whole thing started. They were trying to keep some of the her private emails private, and of course there were pr forces on all sides trying to open up and crack open and find out whether there was classified information on these emails, and that's what this is all. All about, but we have gone through it over and over and over again. And I just think it's we've come to a point where, you know, eight days down, yes, people should make their decisions based on something other than emails. I mean, just my one of the stories I finished writing recently was on how the Bush administration lost 22 million emails relating to the Iraq War, and those emails did not reappear. And you see, and they no didn't answer subpoenas to Congress. They so were they were in contempt of Congress on it. I mean, All those right, were then. actual problems. Okay, then. Well, thanks so much for joining us, and thanks for reporting on this. All right, Nina Burley of Newsweek. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me, or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.